It's named after Aunty Jean Morris, who was a very much respected elder in the Illawarra. She did a lot of volunteer work for the community over her lifetime and um, she passed away. Um, permission from her family was sought uh, to call, to use her photograph and her name as the Good Health Team. I first came here, my sugar level was about 19, now it's dropped back down to 4 and 5, you know, so it's good for me. Aboriginal people don't go to the doctor until they have to. It's a last minute thing with the Aboriginal people, they won't go to doctors. But coming up here, I know where I stand with my health. I think it's the creation of a culturally safe environment. Most of the people have chronic illness and we look beyond the clinic rather than the prescriptive uh, which is normally clinical focus, which is normally given in other programs. Um, we look at abilities, not disabilities, wellness rather than illness, strengths, and, um, and really engaging people and letting them build up their confidence in self-managing. And I think in that culturally safe environment, it works really well. Okay, so we're gonna push down, in, out, and then that down. We saw the need when Caroline first came onto the program as the program manager, she'd done some background work um, in talking to other um, service providers and organisations um, and asking about what they actually provided for Aboriginal people with chronic care or chronic conditions. And she found that there was a great big gap in service provision. Some of the programs were either too wordy and there was a lot of reading material. Um, and the other thing, I guess, was isolation. They felt isolated because they didn't have um, other crew people attending the program, etc. Yeah. And um, some of them found it difficult. So those were some of the findings. And we did some community consultations and asked the Aboriginal community in the Illawarra and Shoalhaven and their carers what they could identify as gaps in service provision to them as well. We invited um, a group of elders in the Illawarra to help us put the framework and the flesh, I guess, of the program together. For their wound care. I'm one of the first and still attending and um, I was very down and very depressed. I used to hate to get up and face the day, but coming here every week, I've enjoyed it. It was something to get out of bed for. I'm not just not sitting around waiting to die now. Holy I couldn't move on Friday. I'm living a beautiful retirement. Much better than what my mum did. I didn't have all this around them. But I have, and I'm very grateful for it. I went to the Wollongong specialist for the kidneys, and he said to me, well, I'm afraid, I think we'll have to take your kidney out. And I said, you're not taking parts of my body. <laughs> I'm not giving them away. And he said to me, well, get into exercises and so forth. I started doing weights here Mondays and Tuesdays. And then I went back and saw the doctor six months later and he was so thrilled. He said, whatever I'm doing there, he said, keep up the good work. He said he wished all the patients um, would have been just as healthy what I am now. Some people are actually um, staying out of hospital because of the program. Those people with really chronic and complex conditions come along and and they're, you know, improving their flexibility and strength and learning to manage more. I uh, do exercise, which I've never ever done. I get up on the morning and I, I start walking. I've never ever done that, never. Because I used to sit home and feel sorry for myself. But now I've got a life. I can walk further, I can swim better, <laughs> and I can annoy a lot of people a lot better too now. <laughs> I can touch my toes and do up my shoes easy without puffing and blowing because since I've been doing this I've also gone off the asthma machine as well. I only use the puffers now because I was an asthmatic when I first came here. You have to have good nutrients, so that means you've got to be eating the right thing, 
for diabetic people, your blood sugars must be under control. They help us. They talk to you and uh, explain everything to you, you know, with your diabetes and things like that. Your sugar level was just high too. This means a lot to me. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't stop coming here because this is my family, my friends. So only for Auntie Jean's exercise classes, it's really put me on top of the world.